And today we're going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the beautiful town of Stony Point. But before we get started, we better go and get some coffee at my favorite place, It's Coffee. Thank you. And of course, in here you can get all type of coffees, any kind of coffee. We have about 42 different coffees and any one you choose is most certainly delish. Now let's go talk a little bit more about it. So we're enjoying our delicious coffee on this nice, beautiful fall day. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the temperatures in Rockland County because some people are concerned that there is extreme temperatures. So in the winters, we tend to have, of course, it's New York, some kind of um, cold weather. It depends as to where you're coming from. You're gonna feel the colder than others. Um, if you're coming from the South, of course, even the fall weather is gonna be cold to you. Um, but in the winter time, it comes between 20 and 40 degrees. Uh, on average depending on what what type of the month what type of the year it is but uh, January and February be, being the coldest month then we have our springtime where it goes between 50s and 72 degrees on or about once again it will depend on what time of the month um, or the year it is and around May and June of course we have a lot of rain and then we have our summertime delicious summer summertime I don't know if you ever heard the song but there is nothing like a summer in New York we have temperature that goes between the 80s and 90 95 in Stony Point it doesn't get as hot because of all the natural uh, parks and we are right by the water as well so it's it's actually a very nice and um beautiful summers what we get and then we have the fall um during fall time we can have temperatures between the 60s and then 72s sometimes at night time it drops into the 40s so you will need some sweaters some jackets and just go enjoy your time Stony Point has 12 amazing parks for a small town. That's actually quite impressive. We have many several trails and many, many different things to, to get done. However, it is mainly for family related activity. There is not much to do in Stony Point when it comes to socially and or going to many restaurants and things like that. We have quite some. Now let's go check it out. You can do some exercises because they have um, things in almost each one of the par parks just for you to enjoy and stay fit. Ah! <laughs> we have the area for the little kiddos too. So the kids can be playing while you put in some of the effort of the exercises. So there is no excuse not to get fit. We have the basketball hoop. There is um, a little sprinkler section, the, the slides, the swings, you name it. There's everything for everyone, a little bit for everyone. I love Stony Point and in Lexmark. It's a historic town that keeps its essence while developing its area, opening spaces to new homeowners. On the outside, many of these houses still keep their essence, while in the inside, they've been remodeled or well kept. Um, many of the landmarks of interest that we have is Gilmore Sloan House. This is a, a Victorian mansion that uh, people use as a hotel. You can come and, and stay over. There is no television, no telephones. It's like a, a uh, 1888 playhouse kind of uh, ground. We also have Harriman State Park, like I mentioned before. This is a large state park, partly in the western part of the town. Uh, we also have Iona Island and Mash between Jones Point and Bear Mountain. It was previously called Wayans Island. It's a very beautiful place also to, to visit uh, and all even bike around. Um, we also have Petro Hills Golf Club, which ranked it 20 best public golf club in the New York uh, 20. 10 golf magazine uh, we also have the stony point battlefield which i mentioned before is a state historic site of 9w and it was occupied by the british in 1779 um, some weekends they actually do the um, 
the canyons so you can go and experience what it was like during that time um it's a very cute site where they do a whole bunch of like stuff and they dress like it was before they have the tents uh, it's a place that is is very worth uh visiting we've been there many times it's great for picnics as well or for hiking um, we also have the stony point lighthouse uh, in the 1800s and early 1900s the hudson river lighthouse allows ships to travel safely through the waters this was a crucial on the hudson river is one of the largest rivers in the new york state the the hudson river stretch from the new york city new york all the way up to albany um, the largest river attained a, a total of 13 lighthouses in route and stony point lighthouse is one of them uh, which opened in 1826 is a beautiful lighthouse to visit as well Stony Point is a great place to be. Um, one of the, the main things, and I will say it's a, it's a pro for me, is Stony Point is a great town to raise children. It is extremely safe with a lot of open land with a 0% violent crime rates. Uh, it's one of the safest cities in Rockland County and top 20 in the state. However, for data, please make sure you do your own research if this is something that concerns you. No matter where you're going uh, or where you're moving, um, do some homework first. Um, however, a Stony Point is very safe. On the downside, I will say this is a con, there are not many activities to do when it comes to dancing, partying, and all of that stuff. There are not many ethics restaurants around in the area or is, or is socially populated area. However, uh, it makes border with other towns that compensate for, for it with distance of no more than 20, sometimes even 30 minutes. Um, another thing that is important to know about Stony Point is that um, the transportation is very limited. We do have uh, the bus, there is no train station. Mainly, you're going to need a car to, to go around Stony Point. Everything is five, 10 minutes um, distance when you are driving, but when you are walking um, is a little bit more, depending on what side of town you are located, you might be lucky enough, depending where you choose to live, to have some of the stores nearby and you can walk to them, but not everybody is um, walking distance per se, not, not five minutes away from it. However, um, some people get concerned that, okay, so if if I don't have a car, if I don't own a car, which most, most homeowners do in our area, uh, how am I gonna handle the school bus, the, the busing or going to the school? Now, one good thing about Stony Point or actually the, the entire North Rockland School District is that um, the schools are very close, 10 to 15 minutes, the longest, and all of the sco schools provide school bus for the um, kids in the area. The only thing is that if you are about two to three blocks away from the school, then unfortunately you won't qualify, but hey, it's just a short walk.
So depending on what side of town you choose to be in, um, Stony Point have different landmarks. It is get divided as to Grassy Point, Jones, um, Stony Point, Tonkin Cove, uh, Bullson Town. So depending on what side of town you choose to be in, it's gonna be the size of the home. For example, um, over here in this side is Jones, the Jones side of Stony Point. Houses tend to be a little bit smaller, um, ranches. Some of them might be um, colonials, but in most cases, you're gonna have the small houses um, right now this one for example is for sale over here that one goes for about uh, $450,000 um, nice um, property uh, well maintained well take care now we are going to go see uh, a few other houses that are a little bigger in size that go in the price range of five hundred to seven hundred thousand and then we're gonna see also some other houses that go into the higher price point the million dollars so this is luxury homes on this side we have a beautiful property that is on the market so on this part is more of the rural wooded area as you can see houses are not so close to one another and you have a lot a lot of um, land in the front of your house where you have distance from the actual road um, some streams um, dry by in this dry by we have also some streams beautiful um, sceneries and much more now we we have route 210 which is uh, a main road basically and you can see houses are a little bit farther from one another and you have a lot of land in the front of the house to keep you off the road um, and houses tend to be a little bit more uh, far from one another, but still close enough for you to be able to see the next house um, You can see the beautiful scenery with the mountains and we are going to be headed to some luxury homes So it's a community by itself where we have plenty of beautiful homes and the 1 million mark and plus This is bordered with the Harriman Park. This is bordered with the Harriman State Park. You can appreciate the beautiful landscaping and um, scenery on the way home. And right now we can start seeing the changes on the trees, which is beautiful. We have um, one of the biggest home uh, state actually in Stony Point right here is sign sergeant Schorsch, if i can actually pronounce the word has its own heliporter and plenty of land all around this is basically the end of it before it starts the state park On the way um, to, to the state park, to Harriman State Park, we also have an amazing um, camp for the kids. We have Gate Hill Camp, which you can, uh, your kids can enjoy a full summer camp. Not, not exactly the entire um, summertime. They actually allow to have it on a week by week basis, which is very useful and helpful. And we're gonna see a community that has some nice um, luxury properties now. And we're going to showcase uh, a few so you can know more or less how they look inside depending on the size and the conditions. Oh, this is gorgeous uh, landscaping all throughout. This whole community is luxury and you can appreciate that the houses are not far from one another, but at the same time, you get to have your space in between. Um, the properties style home this is uh, a, a little cabin in the Tonkins area has a lot of character it's a little outdated but it goes with the flow of the cabin style it's one of the smaller side of homes in the Tonkins area of Vermont and side of town where it's more wooded 
you don't have your neighbors right next to you however if we go and we see the areas the same area with homes in a higher price point like for example that one million dollar house there's a lot of wood there's no neighbor to be seen there is one that right on this side but the house has is massive it's humongous you can have from the far river view as well this is a colonial style home this is on the side of very little um, neighbors next to you you have more space in between um, your neighbors it's all like in this area usually people have acreage like three four five acreage of land so your neighbor is quite separate from you trying to find there you go now we also have the in between which is like in the six hundred thousand this is once again the area where it's all wooded you have a neighbor right over there on that side however it's a little bit farther from your location um it's a beautiful home on the outside it looks like a cabin on the inside it's nicely nicely taken care of now on the on the wooded side you have houses that are cabin style but you also have a lot of home like the one we just saw that is more um, updated and new style and once again you have plenty of um, space in between from you and the other neighbor is more wooded now what about seeing homes that are more in the community area more towards the this side of um, town where we can see the neighbor <laughs> right we want to be close by those ones are more modern most of them um, they are larger in size this one particular home um, is almost in the 800,000 um, it has a lot of square footage 3,000 square feet um, in there has a lot of um, nice features and I want to show you actually the community part of it. There you go. So on this side of town, you can see houses. You have plenty of space for yourself. This is the one that we were just looking at. You, you have plenty of space at a very nice size yard, but you still have your neighbor right next to you. So this is more on the um, side that makes border with um, the other towns. It's not so much on the wooded side of, of town. Now on a, on a lower price point, let's say, if we look into some other homes that are as well on the side of town, if you want on a lower price point, then we're gonna find the homes that need a little bit more work and they are to be smaller sizes as well. They more like a, a fixer upper in most cases. Let's see. This one, for example, this is medium sized home. It's in the 500 price point. We have, this is a high ranch. This is the most common type of home in, in a Stony Point. We have a lot of high ranches, which are also called by some mother daughter style because you have your basement is above ground over here. You have an above ground basement and you can have a, an extra place down there for extended family. So they are very nice um, size home, about 2,000 square feet, between 18 and 2,000, nice division. Most of them have the open space concept towards um, your kitchen space, as you can appreciate here. This one is nicely updated, going towards your living room and your dining room right here. Most of this home have four rooms in total with a, a family area on the lower level. So just so you can have an idea as to what you can get for what prices, you have plenty of um, backyard in here 
and it's pretty close as you can see to the next door neighbor with enough yard for you to enjoy but it's more like a community feeling like so not everything is wooded in Stony Point <laughs> and then we have the extensive massive uh, properties that if you want to be um, just you in your area these properties have about five uh, acreage around the property they're not so detached from the other uh, neighbors but you do have plenty of space in between you and the neighbor um, per se most of these homes usually have pools those are in the million dollars houses nice updated as you can see it's on the wooded side there is no other homes right next to you so to those who enjoy that you can see it's not that you don't have neighbors but you can see neighbors are a little bit you know covered by the woods in between you and the difference between you and the next door neighbor so there is a price for all there is a um, a home for everyone here in the different price points as we can appreciate. This is a marvelous new new property also that is um, for sale at the 1.2. This property is on the, because not all the big properties or luxury properties are in the wooded area. This one is actually very uh, close to the next door neighbor. It's a beautiful um, state with everything being fully updated this is um an amazing property as well so let me just show it this way better i want to make sure you can see and appreciate from afar from the top that you do have neighbors right next to you so this is the property you have a very nice size yard and then you have neighbors here, you have neighbor right there. This is the next door neighbor right in here. And then you have another next next door neighbor right there. So it, you do have plenty of space for yourself. This is a gorgeous um, property. And you still have that community feel like the big property is not always part of um, the areas where it's wooded. We also have properties in the community that are um, on, on that feel like of um, if I need something, I can always ask my next door neighbor. Well, so we have a little bit for everyone here, um, the lower price point, the middle price point, and the luxury price point. So if you're looking about buying in the Sony Point, let me know, I will be more than happy to help. We don't have that many new, new construction in Stony Point, but the ones that are available are magnificent. They are beautiful, um, depending on the size of the homes that you're looking for. This is one of them, for example, um, that is just being completed. It's on a beautiful cul-de-sac street, and there is so much to offer many different ones they have one model home that you can see and then you know take it from there and do the amenities as you wish this is a, a a luxury area as well where most of the house have a requirement to be not less than three thousand square feet um beautiful homes all of them you get to have the beautiful mountain views on this side of town Imagine how beautiful the fall is. You can appreciate that the, the trees are already changing colors. Let's start with a little history on our historic Stony Point. Historic Stony Point is located in the northern um, part of Rockland County. The town is located uh, out north of Havistro, is south of Orange County, and is west on the Hudson River in Westchester. Its main roads of access are 9W, 202, and Palisades Parkway. 
During the American Revolution, um, defending the areas of Stony Point was crucial. Um, even George Washington himself prioritized keeping Stony Point along with the areas around safe because it was is important of controlling that area was crucial to the control of the West Point, as uh, many of us know is a very important um, base around us, which is why Washington found taking back the area so important. Washington assigned the Mayor Henry Lee and General Anthony Wayne as the men in charge and knew the importance of controlling the area. Having control of Stony Point will enable Washington to have the most effective line of communication between certain colonies. The geography of the town attributes its great advantages uh, of the areas has to offer, such as uh, the rocky, the rockiness and wood made, and the woods made it a good place to keep watch on their own. Look. Okay, having control of Stony Point will enable Washington to have the most effective line of communication between certain colonies. Um, the geography of the town attributes uh, into the advantages that the area has to offer. For example, the rockiness and the woods um, made it a good place for them to keep a match over the Hudson River. Um, according to the census of 2020, uh, Stony Point has a population of about 4,800. It's a small, warm town, like I like to say. This is my hometown. This is where I actually live myself. Stony Point is the most rural of the northern town of Rockland, uh, with a beautiful mountain views and river views as well. As Stony Point has a lot to offer. So let's go and see it. Stony Point doesn't have a walkable downtown. It's basically a main street, which is 9W, where the businesses are. As you can appreciate, there is um, the coffee shop, then we have the diner, um, we have Delhi Central over here, which is delicious breakfast, and um, restaurants and, and pharmacies, the pizzeria, Mexican restaurant, and also you have um, Greek, sushi you name it it's just all in one street going down and is you can basically walk it within what 30 minutes the whole street of businesses around here Off the main road, we have one, one more strip mall. And that's about it, folks. There's not much to do in Stony Point. That's one of the cons. Um, but if you're looking for a quiet lifestyle, this is it. This is your place. Jersey Mike, super cons. Let's go get pretty with your nails done. Get your, your pets looking good. Sakura is one of my favorite sushi restaurants around here. The winery and then ShopRite. So we got it all. With distance of like five minutes drive from no matter where you at in Stony Point. And over here we are at one of the street mall. This is the kind of thing that you can find. You have a pub right here. It usually opens in the afternoon. Then we have the nail salon, the, the healthy food, um, the drinks, the shakes, the restaurants many many different kind of restaurants we have a bagel place the um uh, fitness also all of them in just one strip mall this is the kind of places that you will actually find in stony point in all throughout 9w like we 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 are seeing now let's take a check it out at the Pasta Cucina, my favorite place. Stony Point is one of my favorite um, restaurants, it's Pasta Cucina over here because we are like family here. <laughs> That's one of the greatest things about Stony Point. We have a very warm community where you come and they get to know your name. So let's check it out. Thank you, please. Thank you. Después le voy a hacer el videito a la comidita, me la pone bien bonitita como siempre. Okay. 